He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. At least go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know. The situation were reversed. And he looked for me. Thank you. <sighs> This way. Last I know, John was headed up the river. For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked back. He wouldn't leave. Not like that. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. Take a look. Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. Well, it seems somebody left recently. And that way. Sure, well, come on then. There's some tracks leading to the river. A few hours ago, most. Cross. See, they continue up that way. Hey, stay on these tracks. Come on. Yeah. Do you think it's John? You tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but it could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. So, you were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? We had the money. It seemed fine. And suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkerton. It was crazy. Raining bullets. Watch out for this crevice. Dutch killed a girl in a bad way. But it was a bad situation. That ain't like him, though. Tracks go left, down here. Davey got shot. Mac and John, both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. Bad business, all right. Damn snow's coming in hot again. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. snow here. Uh, I don't know about this, Javier. I mean, we can't follow nothing. Uh, let's push on a little bit. Maybe we'll pick up the trail again. Almost. 
See if he can hear us. Come on, up there. Watch out here. Yeah, that we're high up here. You're telling me. Drops down here. Watch yourself. It's slippery, be careful. Stay low under here. Okay, from here. Watch your step. This is real slippery. Stay close to the wall. Up this way. Gap here. Sounds closer now. Come on. We're coming, John. Quite a scratch you got there. Never thought I'd say this, but good to see you, Arthur Morgan. You don't look so good. I don't feel too good, neither. I'm freezing. Don't die just yet, cowboy. Compadre. Well, we can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry sight? Can't argue with you there. See, I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. I'm sure you did. You all right? I don't think so. 
Come on. Hopefully this will lead us out. You see that on the ridge? for the horses. I'll keep John's friends off until you're clear. All right, John, come on. Let's get you on that horse. to the others. I don't feel too good. You'll be fine. It's just like a, a dog bite. <sighs> Knew a fella. Got bit by a dog. Died an hour later. You ain't gonna die. Not yet. are lucky right now. We should ride in the water for a bit. Try to lose a scent. Don't want to leave a trail right back to camp. You know, we're gonna need to come up with a better story for that scar. So, freezing, bleeding, starving, damn near getting eaten to death ain't good enough for you. Here, let's cross to the left. Yeah, come on. Let's push hard and get back. See those buildings up ahead, John? That's where we camped. Nearly there. John! Someone help John down off this horse. Can we get some help here? some help! We need some help here! Come on, help him down. You're alive! You're alive! Right, here we go. There we go. Uh, Ay, uh, careful, uh, idiotas! It's his leg! Uh, oh, come on, let's get you warm. Uh, Thank you. Thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. Have you and Dutch talked about how we're gonna get out of this? I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that? That civilization? I know. The west is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss. Let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> Thank you. 
We've been running for weeks. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait the thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. So what now, Dutch? We get strong, we get warm, and we wait. When the storm breaks, we move. But we're safe here. Warm enough. I guess. You sound doubtful. Not doubtful, just worried. What do you think, Arthur? Well, I wasn't on that boat, so hard to say. But I trust your judgment, Dutch. Always have. Thank you, son. We have been shot at before, Jose. I don't feel that this is honestly anything new. I hope not. We had a bit of bad luck, but then the storm covered our tracks, so now we wait a bit, and we go back to Blackwater, and we get our money, or we get some more money, and we keep heading west. But we're heading east. For now. For now. We got this. We're safe. Stay strong, Jose. What about you, Arthur? You doubt me, too? Never. Good. Because you know me, son. I'm just getting started. Once we get some money, well, they... They better send some good men after us, because they ain't never gonna find us. But we need money. Of course, Dutch. Thank you, son. For your strength. It means a lot to me. Okay there, Dutch? Thank you. Thank you for bringing John back. Finally, some relief. He's beat up, but he'll be all right, I hope. How you feeling, Jose? You been <coughs> coughing a lot. <coughs> That's the cold. Thank you for bringing John back. Of course.
You okay in here, Molly? It might be warmer by the fire. I'm fine, thank you. Okay. You're safe now. <coughs> She'll be okay, Arthur. I'm sure she will, Mary Beth. You okay there, Cam? Fine. But I would kill for a whiskey. <sighs> you ain't wrong. Just look Keep after her. All of you. I'll do my Keep best. More. Just Poor a few woman. more days. Been through a lot. This hill. I hope so. Anyway, stay strong. Try not to worry. Been a nasty few days. Stay warm. And we we should have a little before. food if you're and hungry, Mrs. Together. Adler. And we keep together, I, same as always. Hey, hungry. All of you. Okay, ma'am. Ain't that so, Mr. Morgan? You just ask Mary Beth, of course. He that is so impoverished that he hath no oblation chooseth the tree that will not rot. He seeketh unto him a cunning workman to prepare a graven image that shall not be moved. Have ye not known? Have ye not heard? Hath it not been told to you from the beginning? Have ye not understood from the foundations of the earth? Is it he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth, and the inhabitants thereof are as grasshoppers, that stretcheth out the heavens as a curtain, and spreadeth them out as a tent to dwell in, that bringeth the princes to nothing? He maketh the judges of the earth as vanity. Yea, they shall not be planted. Yea, they shall not be sown. Yea, their stock shall not take root in the earth. And he shall also blow upon them, and they shall wither, and the whirlwind shall take them away as stubble. To whom then will ye liken me, or shall I be equal, saith the Holy One? Lift up your eyes on high, and behold, who hath created these things, that bringeth out their hosts by number, and calleth them all by names, by the greatness of his might, for that he hath strong in power, not one faileth. Why sayest thou, O Jacob, and speaketh, O Israel? My way is hid from the Lord, and my judgment is passed over from God. Hast thou not known? Hast thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary? There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that hath no might, he increaseth their strength. Even the youths shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fail. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. That's real pretty, Reverend, but what on earth does it mean? I don't know, Miss Karen. I realize now that I truly don't, that it brings me comfort. You 
got any miracles for us, Reverend? I wish I did. Yep. We need something. Hello, ladies. Hey. How are you doing? Not the best. We'll find a way off of here soon. Sure. You okay, Mary Beth? Just thinking of Jenny, Mac, Davy, Sean, and wondering who's next. We'll pull through. At least we got John back now. Okay, well, try to stay warm. Sure. Ma'am, I'm real sorry about all of this. My husband? My house? Yeah, I don't know what to say. I'm sorry. Well, just hang in there. I don't care. You've done the best you can with this place, Miss Grimshaw. It could be worse, given the circumstances. No doubt. Well, try to stay strong. Aha, uh -huh, Arthur. You a bit happier now, Jack? Will he be okay? Yeah, I think so. Just needs to rest. Anyway, try not to worry. Yeah, Uncle Arthur. You staying warm there? Trying to. At least we've got a fire now. Yep. Well, just hang in there. Take care, then. Okay, Mr. Strauss? I think so. Well done for finding Mr. Marston. Some good news, at least. Yep. Okay, well... Try to stay warm. Yes, I suppose. How you doing, Uncle? I'm okay. I've been, been through worse. You know, I did one time in... Uh... Sorry, I, I can't right now. Anyway, try not to worry. Yeah. Just want to get out of here. Hey, how's he doing? He's okay. Just needs some rest. Thank you again, Arthur. That's all right. Keep him warm. Well, just hang in there. Just get us off this damn mountain. <sighs> you doing okay now? I think so. Thank you. Of course. Well, try to stay strong. All right. <laughs>